Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your January 2021 Intuitive Energy Forecast. Happy New Year! Happy New You! My name is Lisa Lyle. This is my channel here on YouTube. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And at the end of this video, if you resonate with what has been shared here, I really, really appreciate a thumbs up and even a comment down below. I love engagement. Um, those things, the subscribes and, and the comments and the likes are really small things that don't take a lot of effort that you can do to support the creators that you enjoy here on YouTube. And so thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for your support. And we're going to get right into it. It is 727 New Year's Eve and here I am doing what I love. Um, we're going to start and tune in to see what chakra um, needs some support for you from you this month. Gemini needs your attention, is begging for your attention, and you got two. Um, you got the heart chakra, and you actually got the third eye chakra card. Um, but we're going to start with the heart because that's what I saw first. Emotional balance. Number 27, and it says on the card, stability, harmony, peace, and fluidity. So... Some of you are really feeling good as you come into the new year, um, and, and that's a beautiful thing because January is going to um, shake us up a little bit. It's <laughs> a little bit more than we already have been, and it is going to be quite energetically intense, um, particularly in North America, but really worldwide. Um, so if you're feeling this emotional balance and stability and fluidity and peace, Keep doing what you're doing, Gemini, because that's great. If you're not feeling these things, it's really important that you take some time this month to fill your own cup because you cannot serve from an empty cup. And so this is really about doing things that support harmony and peace and balance in your life. This is a number 27, so it comes to a nine. You're wrapping some, oh, you got two nines, because this is a 36. So something is completing here. And maybe maybe what's coming to an end is self-defeating behaviors. Maybe what's coming, or has recently come to an end for you, Gemini, is the idea that others, something outside of yourself, is responsible for your emotional well-being. This card really speaks about you know, a peaceful heart and harmony. And this, the third eye chakra card is about honoring your intuition, trusting your intuition, um, following your inner vision, listening intuitively when your body is asking for something. And from this, the looks of this card, it appears like you have been doing that. And like I said, there may be some of you connecting, because this is a collective message, there may be some of you who need to focus a little more on caring for your, um, your physical body, your heart, your emotional, mental, and spiritual um, well-being. Um, just before I go too further and too much deeper into this, if you are interested in um, a personalized 2021 energy forecast, you'll find the link in the comment below. I'm in the process of getting those all out. Everybody currently has January right now. Um, so if you're interested in that, it's about 12, a minimum of 12 personalized videos just for you. And you'll have your own playlist that only you can access. So if that sounds something, uh, like something that's up your alley, um, check out the link in the description box below. So let's just tune in now, Gemini, to the energy of the angels, gods, and goddesses. And ah, oh, the goddess of awakening. This is really beautiful. And, and this really speaks about, um, you know, well, this actually is, it, it, they're taking me back to this card, okay? Because it says on here, this is a wondrous time of exploration, romance, and creativity. And so when your cup is full and overflowing, everything is just ease. Like my ears going crazy. So some of you may be receiving um, information uh, through clairsentience, like hearing, uh, clairaudience, sorry. Uh, clairsentience is clear feeling. But you may be receiving these like tones in your ears and everybody's like, oh, it's downloads and stuff like this. Um, 
yes, they're frequency upgrades. I always say it's like tuning a receiver and you're being tuned up, if you will. In order for that to really um, um, support you, you must also ground that energy down, so the integration. But what I'm getting at here is this, this really feels like it's because of this state. Because of everything you've done to bring yourself into balance, you're feeling peaceful, you're feeling, um, you're feeling harmony, you're flowing, you're going with the flow of life. And this is supporting a greater awakening. And then they have me put that over top of it. So it's really beautiful, Gemini. Whatever you're doing, keep doing. Because it really feels like you're showing up for yourself. And that's a beautiful thing. So let's tune in and see what um, love and support the ancestors too. Another one with two. Um, that's so funny. Uh, this is really funny because I was doing a personal 2021 um, forecast and these two cards came out together. And here they are for you. And you got the star ancestors. And so this is really, you know, we are, we are um, universal consciousness in body. And we do have galactic roots and origins. Some of you may feel connected to your galactic brothers and sisters, your star family. Others may not. And perhaps if you don't, this is, you're going to connect with this energy this month. This is always, this always speaks to me about following your inner star, following your heart and, and taking the path that brings you the most joy. Okay, aligning with your path of highest joy, because that's really what we're here for. Your path of service is the path that brings you the most joy. We've, we've been conditioned within a paradigm that tells us we have to, you know, go this way or go that way, find the job that brings in the most money. I can assure you, though, if you follow your joy and follow your passion, the money will flow also. Okay. And then... Traditionally in the Tarot, this isn't a Tarot deck, but traditionally in the Tarot, this is the most optimistic and positive card in the deck. And you've got it here. And it says, enjoy success and happiness. And you know what? I'm not sure what you're doing, Gemini. Like, drop a link and drop some pointers down below. So, you know, because if you're one of these Geminis that are really in this flow, you can be of service to others by simply engaging here in this video because there may be a Gemini that's connecting with this video that's not experiencing the same level of optimism and abundance. Um, but this is like you're doing. this. These two, they're bringing them together again. I really feel like, you know, follow your bliss, follow your passion, follow your joy. And um, it says here, oh, follow the voice of your soul. <laughs> So follow the voice of your soul and you won't hear it from outside of you. You'll hear it. It'll be a whisper from your heart. Okay. Um, with the sun card, I'm also feeling like the need for you to get out in nature, like when the sun is shining, because I think in January, we're going to have Mercury going retrograde, which is your ruling planet as well as Virgo. So I do have a feeling January, February, early in the year, we're going to have our first Mercury retrograde of the new year. I love the Mercury retrogrades personally. Um, so follow your bliss, follow your passion, get outside while the sun is shining. Um, you know, really, yes, really make, if you haven't already, which I feel many of you have, make self-care your priority. Ah, as I'm saying, get outside. And then the root chakra cards comes out. And so this is from the Beyond Lemuria deck. And my intention um, for using this deck was to, for everyone to connect with the most ancient, vibrant, high frequency aspect of themselves and call it forth into this lifetime and call forth the gifts from that lifetime into the here and now. And so you've got the root chakra and in this deck, it's number two because they, they have another one before it, obviously. Um, but in our physical body, when it comes to chakras 101, the root chakra is the first that most people talk about or know about. And so this is like, this really, it says here, ground and center. So for those of you who may not be in this flow and this abundance and this balanced state, it's simple. Get outside to nature. Connect your bare feet if you can. 
I mean, it's December 31st in Canada, and I had my feet in Lake Ontario today. Some might call me crazy. I call it necessary. Um, it was necessary. So it's as simple as that. Place your feet, bare feet on the ground. If you can't get your bare feet on the ground, go outside and touch a tree, hug a tree. Just go for a walk. When you breathe, you breathe as deep as you can into your physical body. And as you release, let it go through the root chakra, through um, the anus, you know, release, clearing it out. Breathe, get your breath as deep into your body as you can. Exhale, release, because this is going to support your transformation. This is going to support your ability to navigate any of um, the shadows or the dark that might appear. Okay? Simple. Get to nature. The message of this card is foundations, grounding, basic needs, survival, physical identity, responsibilities, and a place where we build our lives, time, in nature. Okay? I'll show you the image because it's talking about the image here. This image speaks of finding home within yourself, a sense of deep inner peace, and a strong sense of grounding and being centered. Here you can be released from the grips of survival into a place of thriving. There is trust, connection to community, and you can rely on others and joyfully understand your responsibilities in turn. You are held and have strong foundations for all aspects of life. With your guard down, you have the tools to ride the waves if you need. Everything is okay. So to restore, spend time in nature. Sit or stand barefoot in nature and feel your roots merging with the earth beneath you. Consider your founding beliefs. So for those of you who may be in a struggle and not feeling all this wonderful optimism that some of you are, emotional balance, for those of you, you may want to um, consider what your founding belief systems are and are they actually yours or were they conditioned belief systems based on the, the larger community that you were in, whether it's in the home, whether it was church, whether it's school, whether it's, you know, the part of the world you live in, what are your founding beliefs? If they no longer serve you, it may be time to reconsider your priorities or the foundations you live your life by. Be aware of any recurring patterns that may be holding you back. Themes, home, foundations, physical bases, and responsibility. Healing position, base of the spine, groin. So I always say between the tailbone and the pubic bone. Okay? Um, and the color is red. So working with red crystals, um, wearing red clothing, those kind of stuff. Envisioning red when you're breathing in that space between the tailbone and the pubic bone. Really activating, energizing this space. Okay, so let's next get an affirmation for you. It was 1313, Divine Feminine. Um, yeah, Divine Feminine Energy. So let's get an affirmation for you for the month of January. You can work with it all year long if you feel so guided. Let's see for Gemini. Ah, this is awesome. This is really awesome. And it's a number 23, which is a five. 2021 is a universal five year. Five represents change, and, and uh, it can be sudden and drastic changes, okay? And it can also be the subtle changes. Um, I really feel this is about the continuing, continuing to honor your deeper truths. Continuing, and we see the sunflowers here, continuing to stand in your sovereignty. And if you're not in your sovereignty, really... Um, beginning to fortify and strengthen your sovereignty, your energetic field, your um, personal responsibility, if you will, which supports your transformation. Okay, and the affirmation is, my infinite self dwells in the sweetness of this very moment. My infinite self dwells in the sweetness of this very moment. My infinite self dwells in the sweetness of this very moment. Gemini, that was one of the most uplifting and positive and bright and sunny readings I have delivered yet for the signs. And you are the sixth reading I've done. So 
thank you so much for allowing me to play in that energy. Like I said, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do give me a thumbs up, drop a comment. And if you are interested in a 2021 personal um, energy forecast, information can be found in the description box below. Until then, I wish you an abundantly joyful, sovereign 2021 Gemini. Take good care.